Okay, so uh, first thing you guys kena download Ubuntu dulu betul tak? So you guys pergi ke Ubuntu server. Right, so you going to download the ISO the ISO file, the image file which will you boot up um your Ubuntu using your in your initial um installation so you guys the download so somehow next you guys need to install virtual box right so you can obtain it from here you can download it okay so uh, if your laptop is using windows uh, so please download the latest version using window host and oh yeah i forgot so if let's say for the ubuntu if you have a laptop with with limited ram so let's say you only have four gig of ram or only two gig of ram so i highly re recommend that you um download the 32 bit version right so in order to do that you guys need to see the alternative download right Right, you can go to fast release. Okay, so um, you can try either 18.04 or 16. So let's say try here. Okay. So you can choose this uh, server version i386. So this is the, yeah, this i386.iso 16.04 so um, let's say you have a lower ram capability right for your laptop so after you have installed your ubuntu okay you can fire up your ubuntu sorry your virtual box okay okay so you create your new machine right so here i'm i have created the machine and when you go to settings, right? So you go to the storage. So for the control IDE. So under this, you need to choose the ISO file which you have downloaded. Okay. So in my case, 18.04, right? And next up is the system. So make sure it has 1024 memory. And for your laptop, if uh, please enable intel visualization in your laptop right at your laptop so um so in to enable that so you need to enter bios okay so untuk contoh hp eh? so you can um find various tutorials so let's say i'm using hp bios hp right so it will have uh, it will show some tutorials so for example in hp i need to restart my pc and press F10 and I need to uh, enable virtualization or you can um, use <clears throat> uh, in my whatever if I'm not mistaken in window so you can also go to your uh, BIOS I think somewhere up there Yeah, here. So don't don't um, don't reset your PC because this um, so your it will remove all your files. So you just go to this advanced startup if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So restart. It will go to your BIOS, right? So pulang eh. So nak pilih mana? So after you have uh, enabled the connection, next for the network. Since we want the virtual box to have also a net connection, so to the internet, so you must put a net so that your virtual box is um, able to access the internet without exposing its IP, right? <clears throat> and the second one, since um, we need to access uh, your VM via PuTTY in your window, so you also need to attach another interface, which is um, you choose the type is host only adapter, 
right? So you must choose the relevant host only Ethernet adapter, right? So in order to do that, in order to manage your host only adapter, so you can go here, file. Okay, so to host network manager, right? Dekat sini, nampak? So I'm enabling two. So DHCP, kita kena enable supaya it can automatically assign IP address via that interface. And this is the IP range. Okay, so just leave it uh, being configured automatically, right? Also the, uh, the DHCP server. You see, what is host only adapter? So somehow your PC also, they will create a virtual adapter so that it can uh, communicate or access your virtual box host only at a network. So if we can go to the control panel, so if you go, go to network and internet, so if you go to network and sharing center, so if you go to change adapter settings, okay, so nampak tak dekat sini tulis virtual host only network. So senang cerita, you guys punya computer pun sebenarnya dia join network tu eh. So nampak dia ada, so dia dah assign dah daripada DCP dia dapat ni. So, so you also need to attach the host only adapter dekat you punya VM, right? So far so good, ada, ada, ada soalan? Tak masa. Ha, ya? You want to memang pakai yang live server eh? Live server? Ubuntu tu, percaya server je? Ya, yes, server. Macam dah okay. server lah. Uh, tak, macam yang saya terangkan dalam minggu lepas, kita akan guna server version. Pasal we don't need the GUI. Kalau you install GUI, you need higher memory requirement. So since uh, kita mungkin later on, kita perlukan running multiple VM. So uh, you kena ni lah. Kan? So tak semua orang ada laptop requirement yang yang tinggi. So you guys, that's why I recommend using server lah. Right? Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. So okay. So you guys run. So just follow the installation. So by that if you guys uh, boleh install. So somehow you guys boleh masuk dia punya shell lah. Okay. So this is the shell. So let's say kita. So this is the shell. Kalau nak contoh nak tengok release tu. Okay, let's see. Well, anyhow, so ni dah masuk kat shell dia lah. So, untuk gunakan um, you guys nak masuk kat sini. Pasal later on you guys nak kena buat program tau. So, tak munasabah kalau you guys macam tak efficient kalau you guys type dekat sini eh. So, susah kalau type dekat sini. So, that's why I want you guys untuk install putih dekat window ni. So, uh, you guys boleh download putih dekat sini. This is the SSH client, okay. Download sini, right? So we download sini. Okay, you guys, you guys can choose eighty two bit or thirty two bit terpulang, right? So mungkin kalau you guys ada um, lower memory uh, capability, so mungkin boleh guna thirty two bit. Tapi thirty two bit, sixty four bit tak kisah. So somehow kalau dah install, you guys run, you guys punya puti. Okay. So bila you guys buka punya VM. You guys boleh tahu uh, nak tahu IP address untuk you guys punya VM. Okay, so I have config. So somehow, tengok dekat sini dah ada dua interface. Satu, netting punya interface nak pergi ke internet, right? So, satu lagi adalah EN post S8. Uh, so, I think this is the host only adapter. So, dia ada dua interface lah. So, nampak IP 192.168.114.5. So, 192, dot one one four dot five right so you see so there is a connection here pasal kita dah buat host only adapter so kita buat ni saya masukkan username saya eh bila you guys install tu dia minta username okay so barulah senang kalau kita nak type kalau nak lagi senang you can use your code editor right so my favorite is notepad plus plus okay right So, uh, boleh install plugin dekat Notepad++ Plus Plus ni. Um, oh sorry, dekat sini boleh cari NPP FTP. Okay. 
Saya dah nak install pun tapi sekejap dekat sini sebenarnya MTP, FTP Ok dia tak keluar sini kot pasal saya dah install lah Saya sambal macam ni bila you guys dah uh, time kalau kalau you guys tak install lagi kan macam ni So you guys tick uh, minta install lah Sambal kat sini you guys boleh set Okay, you guys boleh set you guys punya profile Letaklah you guys punya ni So bila you guys connect Alright Okay, so let's say you guys dah buat uh, Kan senang kalau type Okay, so sangat susah kalau guys nak coding Kalau dia gunakan shell, right Okay, so far so good boleh Everyone, okay Okay, sir. Right? Boleh, sir. Itu, itu pasal kenapa saya nak minta buat SSH tu. Pasal kalau you guys nak buat coding, wish, tak, tak, tak tahulah boleh ke tak rasa mesti you guys <laughs> nak type kat sini rasa. Okay, satu lagi. Mungkin ada ada masalah untuk um, nak enable kat interface tu. So, mungkin dia tak detect interface. Kan? Kadang-kadang ada orang problem tu. Kalau uh, kalau dia guna saya Ubuntu 18.04 ke atas, Ubuntu cara nak configure dia, dia dah guna net plan. Right? Net plan tu. So, Contoh, contoh kita buat if, if config kan, dia keluar yang satu interface je yang netting tu Yang interface lagi satu tu tak nampak, so mungkin kena activate kan So in some cases ada eh, so tengok betul-betul macam mana guna uh, net plan So first we go to the directory, so change directory command cd Slash etc, pergi ke etc dan sini net plan Okay, so kalau kita list, list out, so dia ada satu yaml file Right, this is the configuration file. So we need to edit this one, right? So kita boleh gunakan nano. Okay. Tapi sebelum tu, you guys mesti nak tahu uh, interface tu apa dia punya nama kan? Enpost 83 ke Enpost uh, S8 ke kan? So boleh buat guna nama dia IP of apa kurang tadi? Saya buat tak ingat. Ha, ni, IP link. So dia akan tunjuk lah. So kita ada tiga interface kat sini. So kita ada loop back. Kita ingin sepuluh S3. So kat sini kita tahulah. Pasal kasi keluar. So contoh uh, S8 tak keluar. So itu yang tak activate lagi. So nampak dia punya nama tu. EMP 0S8. Uh, S8. Okay. So kita buka uh, kat net plan kita tadi tu. So kita sudo nano. Masukkan file YAML tadi. Okay. Sudo password. So. Ha, you guys tambah lah kat sini Dan tadi kat, kat sini kan Kalau tak ada dia akan, tak, akan ada ENP uh, uh, 0S8 ni So tambah lah So ENP uh, 0S8 So buat sini space Okay so DHCP V4 true So dia akan dapat uh, daripada, daripada ni lah daripada DHCP So macam mana nak apply Complication ni kita buat sudo Net plan Apply Okay. So dia somehow dia akan activate lah Dia punya configuration dalam net plan tu So kalau you guys buat if config by right dia akan activate So IP address tu dia akan di assign oleh DHCP server Okay so boleh follow Hello Boleh sir Kalau tak masuk tadi Boleh sir, setakat ni okay Okay so satu lagi, uh, mungkin um, by default dia tak install compiler uh, GNU uh, compiler kan GCC So nak install dia kena guna aptitude manager lah Okay So mungkin GCC kat sini dia tak ada kan So boleh install lah sudo apt install GCC Supaya you guys boleh compile your C code Later on mungkin you guys uh, untuk kita akan menggunakan Python ataupun Java So sama je kalau contoh Python kat sini tak ada kita okay, ada so kita boleh install python so i highly recommend using python 3 lah latest python 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 biasa pun boleh python 2 tapi python 3 lah lagi senang okey right is okay, so writing itu je lah kalau nak cakap pasal lab kan semua dah hantar dah by right minggu ni kan lah saya hat no ah so please do Okay, please buat all the exercise because uh, we um, takut nanti tertinggal. Pasal minggu ni saya dah kena assign you guys lab dulu dah. Okay. 
Sejak Lemmy start dari Kodi Antara kat UFC 